Lakeview Baskerville. Live at the Walgreens at 127th and State in Lamont, where you can get a NOAA weather radio today at a discounted price. Steve. Rob, you certainly can. And the whole effort is to keep people safe and alert, even when they're sleeping, when storms like this one are nearby. This is a newspaper from that week of the tornado that ripped through Lamont back in 1991. And you didn't need any other headline aside from tornado. Today is beautiful. Uh, I want to get started with the weather. Uh, there are some problems, though. If you live near the lakefront or if you're thinking about the beach, beach hazards are up today and for most of tomorrow because of uh, those dangerous rip currents. And uh, I would advise just staying away from the beach until uh, the weather settles down, believe it or not. We're not completely there yet. Local temperatures, uh, take, a, take a look at this. In the 60s along the lakefront, uh, it's in the 70s in Will County in places like Lamont and Joliet and all of our weather. Western suburbs. The uh, satellite radar is not going to show you much of anything that we need to worry about over the next uh, several days or so. As long as high pressure is in charge, uh, we will keep fair weather and we'll keep a lot of sun. I think we do that until at least Thursday. So uh, nice and cool tonight. Remember how uh, stifling it was over the weekend? We had 90 degree weather. It might have felt more like the middle of summer. Not tonight. Uh, most places having temperatures in the 50s. The highs tomorrow will be a repeat performance of today. Uh, minus a lot of fog, hopefully, along the lakefront areas. They were only in the 50s for part of the day along the lakefront. So weather's improving uh, over the next seven days. I know there's some folks who want the hot weather back. Uh, it will be coming back at least toward Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're looking at temperatures approaching 90 degrees. I want to get back to the reason why we're here. And uh, Mary Kay, you've got someone very special that uh, can tell you about this. Right, and we lucked out with the weather today for sure. But joining me is Natalia Deravyani, and she is with Cook County Homeland Security and Emergency Management. Why are you out here today with all these disaster trucks? Well, we're really out here for our residents. We want to showcase to them the kind of vehicles we have, the kind of equipment we have, in order to help them during an emergency. This is what we bring out to municipalities in order to help those municipalities out there. We also have preparedness information for residents because they're really on the front lines if something happens. They could be on their own 72 to 96 hours. So we show them what they need in preparedness kits. We show them how to make family emergency plans and we give them all of that information inside. Wonderful, thank you for joining us. And Ed also has some good information too because there's something you can get for your home. Yeah, this is the star of the show here. This is NOAA weather radio. This radio costs you 30 bucks here. Amy Seeley is with us from the National Weather Service. Sometimes people think it's not going to happen in their area. Where can we get tornadoes in Northeast Illinois? You can get tornadoes all over Northeast Illinois and Northwest Indiana at any time of day, any time of season. So we want you to have a NOAA weather radio in your home or on your vacation home, wherever. So you always get the latest uh, forecasts and warnings. And the 30 bucks here. And the good news is that the National Weather Service and the people from Midland will program the radio for you so they only get warnings in your area Steve a lot going on if you can come out here to 127th and state before 630 we're here we'll yeah. see you at six all right you better get there quick or those radios will be they'll run out of them right yeah